Well, I'm Michael O'Brien. I'm Professor of American Intellectual History here at Cambridge and at Jesus College. And uh, I'm Joel Isaac. I'm a lecturer in the History of Modern Political Thought um, here in the Faculty of History in Cambridge and a fellow of uh, Christ's College. So I thought best, we probably should start by explaining why there is this conference. Um, it started, I guess, because a few years ago, I, I've, I spent most of my career writing American intellectual history, but mostly about the American South. Uh, but in recent years, I've kind of gone uh, into wider things in New England and the rest of the United States. So um, I've been trying to get a handle on where we stand in American intellectual history, where the discipline stands. Um, and my sense of this is partly informed that when I was a young uh, research student, a book came out in the late 1970s called New Directions in American Intellectual History, which was a series of essays based on a conference that was held in the University of Wisconsin. Um, and that book for me and for many other people was quite important because it sort of set down a marker of where one stood. Um, and there has not been such a book since. And the discipline has had ups and downs. So it seemed to me that it was a good time to try to take stock of where we stand. Mm. And I suggested this idea to James Koppenberg, who's an American intellectual historian at Harvard, and who was Pitt professor here a few years ago, that maybe we should do this. Since we're both quite old, uh, we thought uh, we should bring in some younger scholars. And so we asked Joel, um, and also um, Jennifer Ratner Rosenhagen of the University of Wisconsin, who's a very good young scholar. And perhaps I can just sort of add to that. I mean, from a uh, a more junior person's perspective, uh, it's been um, clear to me that the field of um, both American and European intellectual history um, have been flourishing, I think, in recent years. And there's a generation of slightly younger scholars um, breaking through publishing first books and doing, uh, I think it's fair to say, new and exciting things and working. And this is, I think, um, a place in which uh, the connection with, with Crash and Crash's activities is particularly important. Um, working on the field of Atlantic intellectual history from a number of different perspectives, from the history of science, from political theory, from literary scholarship, um, and also the field itself is interfacing with fields like cultural history, even diplomatic history, and so on. And so it seems like it's a very sort of fertile moment for the field. And that, again, made it seem like now would be a good time to sort of take stock and I, I think, sort of, I've hoped that the programme from the conference represents that new diversity and we want to try and kind of bring this together um, in, the, in the conference. One, one important question to ask is why use a term like Atlantic intellectual history? And perhaps we could talk about that for a moment. Yes, well, we use it with some hesitation because there is in modern scholarship um, a discussion about the Atlantic world, which is basically a discussion about the interconnections between Europe the Americas, both North and South and Africa. And that's of course been a model for lots of others. There's no specific world, there's lots of oceans being discussed at different times, at different places by different scholars. I'm mostly interested in the conversation between Europe and, and the United States, North America. And Africa somewhat, uh, one of our contributors is, is an African-American scholar. This is something of a difference from the moment of the late 1970s, uh, when it was very exclusively about the United States. It, had a little bit of interest in Europe, but not very much. Um, whereas I think most of us have a sense you really can't write American intellectual history without also in some level being um, well informed about European intellectual life. Mm. Um, Alongside that geographical diversity, um, which is going to be a central theme of the conference very clearly, there is a kind of I think a growing methodological diversity. I mean, one of the major I think, changes in the field in the last 10 to 15 years has been um, the growing connections between intellectual history and cultural history broadly construed, whether it involves the you know, history of the book, material culture, theoretical practices, um, really lo lots of different kind of components of the, of the broader field of cultural history. And so we will see talks um, in the conference that will be, for some, sort of straightforward instances of cultural history, and, but others that, that would be almost kind of straight out political theory or history of science. Um, and so, so there is a very clear kind of conceptual and methodolog methodological diversity in the conference, as well as this 
kind of geographical um, interest in the sort of concentric circles that would encompass the United States, the United States in Europe, the United States in the world. Um, so that's that's a kind of second track. Mm. Um, and again, I'm sure that will be a sort of major theme of the conference, and it's very clear if you look at the program um, from the nature of the scholars involved in the in the enterprise. Um, and perhaps we might sort of wind up just by reflecting on. Uh, <laughs> The kinds of people we want to attend the conference, <laughs> specifically from you know what disciplines and so on. I mean, in one sense, it's clear that this is a conference for intellectual historians of the United States and Europe. But I would hope, and I'd certainly think, if you look at the program, um, we are reaching out to other constituencies. That's in a way it's unavoidable given the kind of diversity that we were just discussing. Um, but one would hope that um, people both inside and outside Cambridge working in um, whether it's the history of literature, the history of science, um, aspects of social history, the history of education and so on, would be interested in and engaged by a conference like this. Um, that's certainly, I think, some, I know it's something that we talked about in putting the conference together and it's something that I'm, 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 I'm very um, eager should be realised in, in the conference itself.